first, let's go through some of the basics of whole life insurance. So we've got three, three colors here, blue, red, and green. Let's start with blue. That's the death benefit. So with a whole life insurance policy, the term death benefit, that's the life insurance. What you will see with the death benefit on a whole life insurance policy is that it will gradually increase over time. Now, when you die, if that life insurance policy is on you, that death benefit is paid to your beneficiaries 100% income tax-free. For example, if Denzel has a policy on himself, his beneficiary is his wife-to-be, something happens to Denzel, she gets that money 100% income tax-free, meaning no income taxes due on, on it. And that's the case with any type of life insurance as well with respect to the life insurance piece. Then in red, we've got the premium and PUA rider. PUA stands for paid up additions. I like to call it a cash dump in. We'll get into details around that. But what you'll find with both the premium and PUA rider, this is money that you pay into your policy. These are your deposits. Now here's a question. When you hear the word whole life insurance, and the word premium, how long do you think you have to pay premiums into that whole life insurance policy? A lot of times we think our whole life forever. What you'll find though, is we can fund a policy just for a few years. It can be five years, 10 years, a certain age. You can really customize it. You've got a lot of freedom there and you can set it up to be flexible from the start, which is fun. And then we've got the cash value. So here's the part that everyone's interested in. So when you look at the cash value of a whole life insurance policy, you'll see that no matter what happens in the economy, stock market, whatever, that value continues to go up. There's no risk. I've got strong guarantees associated with the, with the product. And I can also access it anytime I'd like. And I can access it tax-free, assuming I do so properly. How's that sound? Sounds pretty good. So with that said, why is life insurance often misunderstood? Well, firstly, there's a lot of mixed opinions about whole life insurance. Have you ever heard any of the following about whole life insurance? That it's a scam, it's a bad product, it's expensive, the cash value has weak returns. If you put money into this policy, you're going to have buyer's remorse or you're going to regret it. Have you ever heard that? Or have you ever seen anyone that, that's been, been through that before? Happens a lot. And there's two reasons why we hear this. One, because there is a lot of misinformation out there. But two, it can also be true at times. And we'll look at an example that illustrates that. But with that said, if there is truth to it, why do people with money, rich people, put a lot of money into cash value life insurance? Is it because they can afford to lose money, they can throw it away and just make it up later? No, they're just like you and me. They don't wanna waste money that they have. The thing is, you'll often see that they have advisors. If it's, an, if it's an individual, they often have tax attorneys that have a familiarity around cash value life insurance. If it's a corporation, or a bank, they've got a board and there's members there that understand the product as well.